In this tutorial, I'll cover methods and techniques you can use to create good passwords and give you a heads up on what a bad password looks like. What is a bad password? Well, simply put, it's any word that appears in the dictionary. It's any word that's about you, your family, or your work. Here are some examples. I know it's silly, but there are people who actually use the word password as their password. Taking any word in the dictionary, like the word today, and adding a one to it is a bad idea for a password. Taking any common phrase and simply stringing it together, as in, let me in, bad idea. Letters of the alphabet in sequence, either forward or backwards, not a good idea. Same with numbers. Taking a letter and simply repeating it four or five or six times, or numbers. Taking keyboard in any sequence of keys, as in ASDFG or the word QWERTY, are all examples of poor passwords. A good password is one where you've used upper and lower case letters, where you've used numbers and symbols. This is an easy way to create a really good password, and the longer your password, the better. Here's an example. It's simply a number that you know, at, any letters you want to make up, colon, and this happens to be a date. Or this one is add, notice the capital A, underscore 12.5% plus 12.5%. It's got it all. Capital letters, small letters, and lots of different symbols. This is right off uh, a, a carton of milk. 17.9% K Cal, notice the capital, so equal, low, fat, symbols, upper, lowercase, numbers. And if you find a phrase easy to remember, then make it into a password. I, like, to, eat, apples, with, peanut, butter, and throw an exclamation point at the beginning to make this the perfect, secure password. 